Okay, what's up guys? So, today we're gonna make a mango salad. And I actually opened this, I've been trying to ripen this, and I realized it's bruised, so I'm gonna just cut around it. The problem with um, getting things from the store, often you have to try and ripen them at home, and actually it's not ideal at all. Sun ripened fruit is by far, far the healthiest, most delicious thing you can get in this world. But getting it, if you're not growing it, is more complicated. So whenever you buy fruit from the store, you really risk that um, it's not ripened the right way. So like the, the secret to like really working with fruit or a lot of my friends eat mainly fruit for their diet. Um, there's such a thing as fruitarian, believe it or not. And it, it like really actually heals your body and detoxifies it. Like that, they say that's the ultimate diet, but getting the fruit is the, is the challenge. Um, so when you open up something like this and it's bruised, then you realize that maybe it's not so good. Just try and see if you can salvage what's, you know, what's left. <laughs> so, but this, I've had this for at least a week, like where I'm trying, I was trying to really make it right because mango, when it's hard, it's not appealing. It's not the right way to eat the mango. And uh, I was in Costa Rica this summer uh, my boyfriend at the time was so excited that like the mangoes were just everywhere on the ground everywhere so ripe so beautiful so perfect and um, that's the desired way of eating mango uh, so we're gonna put a yellow bell pepper in with the mango so this is your yellow chakra dish. Um, yellow ray is really um, a boost in your self-confidence. And um, it's about really your, that chakra is really about your relationship to yourself. So if you come from childhood trauma, or, and we all do, believe me, um, this is the part of you you have to work on. So they say when you eat the color of your the chakra that you're working on healing, on blocking. It's not healing, on blocking. Because your chakra is like a force field that would work perfectly if there wasn't some negativity or some trauma stuck in there. Um, but anyway, so yeah, a lot of yellow in this dish. I would say this is good for boosting your self-confidence on a, on a metaphysical level. But um, it's also packed with health, health benefits. We have the bell pepper. This actually has four times more vitamin C in it than an orange, believe it or not. This is a powerhouse. Uh, we're gonna have raw local honey. Uh, yeah, we have ginger, digestion. We have the cilantro, amazing for your spiritual third eye. Uh, calcification. So, let's put it. Beautiful lime. Citrus is such a great preservative. Um, mixing citrus with olive oil, such a good combination. So, uh, there we go. Um, so we're gonna take the jalapeno. Get the seeds out. I'm gonna do that here. So you don't want to touch these seeds, trust me. 
very careful with this stuff this from um so the, the seeds is where the real heat of the chili sits so when you want a dish that's not that's that spicy deseed it and uh, you're gonna get something much more mild and manageable <laughs> so. There was a little bit of seeds in there, still left, because I like spicy, spicy, spicy stuff. Um, but this, when you eat all raw food, having, using chili as a way to heat you up in the winter is the key. So if you use enough spicy food in your diet, you won't miss that heat from the hot cooked food, you see. So that's a great, great, great tool for a raw foodist. Not that I am, but I try. They say if you, so the, the thing is when you cook your food, it loses all the like medicine and all the nutritional benefits, the enzymes. So if you do like at least at least 50% raw food. That's a big step. It's a good big step. And everyone, everyone can do that without too much detox and being too uncomfortable. Um, because basically everything that you've been putting in your body is gonna come out. You know, you're melting away all this like chemicals and toxins that um, you, we eat in processed food, you know? I, I mean, the good news is that there's a lot of McDonald's out of business nowadays. There's a lot of new juice bars like that are serving beautiful organic juices. So we have really changed our attitude to food and we understand it's, it's a medicine and it's important to live a holistic lifestyle that supports your whole body not just um, not just you know like you can eat meat you can eat processed meat and you might be fine for a couple of years five years seven years but eventually because of the way it's farmed and also do you really want to eat animals I mean I just can't the way I became a vegan is um, I, towards the end, I would still be eating, like, let's say bison, because I knew bison were not farmed the same way, but I would still, like, wake up crying, feeling horrible, thinking I cannot eat this meat, but I was so brainwashed that I believed that um, I couldn't do without it. <laughs> it's like, it's ridiculous what, what has been implanted in our consciousness, because actually, Meat is a highly inflammatory thing um, in your body, or at least dairy is, and you really don't need it at all. That kind of protein is what gives you arthritis, so, you know, you can heal arthritis, let's say, with, um, with this whole food, but it takes, it takes getting all that stuff that's inflamed, because as your body has a reaction towards something that's not good for the immune system it starts to encase it and grab it and like it gets stuck so you have to like melt all the information away so your body can release these old habits okay toxic habits you know um, but It's, it's one thing to make sure that what you put in your body is amazing for it and it's healing and holistic and gonna bring you to your maximum health, but it's another thing um, 
making sure you don't put all that toxic shit in your body that we were brought up on, you know? Like, when you get very, very clean, just one meal, you feel it. You really feel it. And you feel depressed and sad and your body starts to swell up in a reaction. I mean, all these incurable diseases that, um, or at least the many of them, are what is what is they have discovered is that epigenetics. It's not gen genetically passed on. It's basically the circumstances. Epigenetics means it's like the environment that brings on your genetic disposition. So if your mother or father had something wrong with them and you're eating the same food, you're gonna have the same thing wrong with you. So, um, the whole thing is to create an environment where you can optimally function in the healthiest, highest, happiest, most beautiful self version of you. So that's what I'm trying to help you do. Yeah. Um, this is honey. It is local honey. It's so beautiful. It's so pure. And um, so healing. This, you can, you can basically use honey if you, um, if you like, have a cut, it'll heal your skin immediately, it'll heal allergies, especially if it's local because the bees have are, are dealing with the same kind of toxins as you are from the from the air, from the environment. So um, honey is like amazing, amazing, amazing. Sadly we are, you know, due to the fact that we're eating food sprayed with glyphosate, um, basically, that's totally killing the bee population. Once they go, we go. So, yeah, um, support your local beekeeper. It might become a situation where all the bees are kept like that, sadly, you know. Um, but yeah, we're really, really pushing it with... Um, with the fact that um, we're still spraying glyphosate, it's not okay. It's not okay at all. Like, what does it take for us to wake up? <laughs> so, oh, my dog is going crazy. I think I have a guest. Anyway, nothing is gonna stop me from making this beautiful mango. Chutney, not chutney, this is salsa. Uh, a little bit of salt and a little bit more pepper, I think. Um, and then the very last ingredient is some minced ginger. Ginger is amazing for digestion, for any kind of stomach problem, creating heat in the body. Like this, I basically have at least three spoonfuls of ginger every single day. Really, 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 really good for you. And plus it tastes delicious. And it's very energizing. Very energizing. So, chop it finely. As finely as you can get it with um, using massive cleaver like this. <laughs> anyway. There we are. And mix it around. There's your beautiful, beautiful mango chutney. Mango salsa, rather. Look how fresh and delicious it's tasting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So good.